guys. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Horrible Decisions. I'm your girl, Mandy B, a.k.a. Full Core Pumps, a.k.a. That Bitch, a.k.a. Pet the Stallion, a.k.a. Mandy Baskins, a.k.a. I can't fuck nobody right now, and it's up. Can you pee? Bro, do you know how big of a hater fucking Aunt Flo is? I literally hit this nigga. Aunt Flo? No, what the fuck you. are you? A nah, fucking high school Aunt Flo teacher? Jazz, bitch. Aunt Flo ain't shit. Let me tell you before y'all introduce yourselves how much of a hater she is. Because I text this nigga. I was like, I need you to come fuck this pussy. And I spelled come like C-U-M. Mm -hmm. I was really, I said, come tear this pussy up. <laughs> do you know, after I sent that nigga the motherfucking text, went to the bathroom and fucking white blood. So I had to text him right back. Never mind. Enjoy your trip. He was like, well, damn. <laughs> so he wrote me back all nasty, like, damn, because I ain't responding in 15 minutes. You canceled. I said, sorry, let me just tell you, I wanted to be nasty with you. And then I just wiped blood. So I had to renege. You know how I know I ain't shit. My <laughs> name. I had to renege my What invite, did he okay? say when you said that? He said, LOL. Oh. And I said, well, when it's done, I'm going to invite well, you. Well, my name is Wheezy, and I would have pretended this shit never happened. I'd be like, what? My <laughs> aunt Flo came to town. <laughs> you know, I was not finna motherfucking get no blood on my sheet. Babe, it's just because it's big. You knocked it on. I'm so glad <laughs> no, I'm... I ain't yeah. trifling like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I'm, I'm gay. So I don't have I'm a monthly... And giving the gayest giggle. <laughs> I don't have a monthly thing. I just can fuck whenever I want. Y'all, as but we what do... what if you had diarrhea? I'm, like, a, I'm versatile. Fucking... I can top. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm not this is a, uh, <laughs> <laughs> This is Akeem Woods we've got in the building. Hello, guys. Akeem, Akeem Woods. is a comedian that I stalked from a really funny clip of him in the studio saying, where are we at? Are they shooting porn here? What's going on? I'm like, what is this? <laughs> and I got mad. And I was like, oh, he's kind of funny. So glad we followed each other. I'm glad you're finally on Thank horrible. you. I'm glad I'm able to be here. I know. Um, First of all, unrelated note, you just went to Italy? Oh, I don't want to no, 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 but I'm, okay. I'm, I was adopted, so I'm mixed. I don't know what I'm mixed with, but I was raised by a black woman, so I'm just like, I'm black. You never spit in a tube? No, I don't care. Okay. That's I mean, you look black to me. Yeah, I'm, I mean, my name, my name is Akeem. That's an African name. Yeah. I mean, Does everybody bring up coming to America? Easter. Probably, but... Or Dominican. I just say black. Yeah, it feels I'm probably right. mixed with some stuff, but I don't care enough to look into it. I'm still going to be treated black, so it don't really matter. Valid. If I'm like, no, but wait a second. I'm Hold on, look at 23 and me. I'm 14% yeah. English. <laughs> and I saw pictures of my biological parents and my mom, my biological mom was really, really light. And then my biological dad was like as dark as his microphone. Mm, so that's it. how that's how which I is a pretty about. dark microphone for the uh, yeah, audio yeah. <laughs> wildly dark YouTube that so, choices. tell us about uh so you're a comedian but also paul is sam j yeah you write on there you get no, on I there was, what do you do i was just a guest on there that's fire yeah i was a guest i sam j's dope as fuck she asked me i was we at the cellar she asked me if i if i come on to a show it was amazing and uh and then i just did late night I did late night with james gordon Woo! back in march yeah can you talk, talk, talk your shit why does everybody know james gordon why does everyone know him? What do you like mean? I'm saying, what does he know him for? Car karaoke, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. He's known for singing with white women in cars. Uh, I just wanted to help people understand who he was without yeah, being obvious. Yeah, the, the, the famous um, when British I tell you, motherfucker. I, I fucking suck with white people. I'm literally thinking Gordon Ramsay. No. <laughs> and I'm just like, who, are I you would serious? love to I, be bro, I, I, like, as on a talking, show with I'm Gordon like, Ramsay. Like, I'm show? like, which, which And so which are you Gordon? also a chef as well? Yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was on Gordon's show. Gordon's kind of fine. I'd fuck Gordon. Me too. I, it's the ex, the ex that be throwing me off. Would you fuck Gordon? I don't, I've never fucked a white man in my life. Really? Ever she in is my so life. proud of him. Would you let Gordon what? be the first? Would you wait? wait she wait, can't wait. wait. To would tell you let Gordon be the first one? No, oh, she no. wants Jason Momoa. Jason. No, but she wants Jason, Jason Momoa is Momoa. Hawaiian. The white man that He's I was white. Like, Jason Momoa is not white. He is Pacific Islander. That man is not white. What I'm gonna be honest. I don't, I, I'm starting. I used Samoan to say he was white, but I'm Samoan definitely. Wait, would you fuck Captain America? No, the Who's only that? white man who could really, really get this pussy, and one of them actually just came off the list because of. The charges in trial. Okay. Uh, what? Oh, Johnny Depp could have gotten it with the dress. Oh, oh. But oh, wow. now he can't get it because he a little he's a little abusey. Yeah, so Johnny Depp's he's not abusey. I, I wouldn't so fuck Johnny Depp. He's too. It's he's giving too so the white man weird. that could get this cooch would be Jake Gyllenhaal. 
But I've said uh, that on yeah, the you said this. Before. Oh no, I'd fuck even out of Jay. He's white, oh. white too. Yeah, he doesn't even wash his leg. Like he's not so, even giving. Like he, <laughs> no, he literally, he literally said that. Yeah. No, he literally said he doesn't. Should we wash tag his leg. Jake in this and see if he, yeah, we'll is he him. single? Is he dating? Oh, What's and Jake being alone. Jake. Oh, he's married. Okay. And I, it's who cares when they're married? I mean, I'm all about bring up that fact. I'm all about breaking up straight love. I'm all about it. Are we sitting with Vinny again? <laughs> Wait, do you go out of your way? To no, like, not okay, out of my way. Okay, you don't go out of no, your no, way. I, Just their gay way. My thing is, I'm, I'm single. And this is my opinion. And I don't know if people agree with me. If well, you're single, toxic. you can't cheat because you're single. Okay. Other people are cheating. I agree. I'm not cheating. Unless I'm fucking someone's husband purposely. Like, let's say you have a man. I mean, I've done it purposely. Oh, I haven't. No, she's not. Not with anyone that I know. <laughs> You're a hoe. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second. Talk for Christmas, wait, bitch. Wait, wait, you now are you contradicting no, yourself. No, no, not if I know them. If I don't know them, I don't care. Oh, wait, 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 or if you I won't. know, if I know, if I know, if you know the partner, exactly. You won't like do if you it. have okay. a husband, and let's say that nigga's on grind and he messaged me, I'm gonna send you a screenshot like, yo, your nigga's out here. Now what's on what's no no? What do you mean? Oh wait, you telling on the nigga? Right. Yes, if I know the wife, <laughs> oh, yeah, if I'm yeah, close yeah. to the wife, if we're friends, if I know the wife and I don't like that bitch, I'm fucking your husband. Okay, oh, okay. we had there never you know. met before today, right? Exactly. But we had done some DM and oh, we should hang when you're in LA. We gotta come on horrible, yeah. blah blah blah. Would you tell me if you saw me posting a nigga? Depends on how fine the nigga was. <laughs> if we're being honest, because like I said, we don't know each other. So it depends on how fine the nigga was. If he was as a average, I'd be like, oh, let me go ahead and tell her that her man. Because I don't want to fuck him anyway. Exactly. But if he, if he's like, like if he's it. like, if he's like Chris Brown looking, nigga's like fine as fuck. Nah, I'm, I'm not Chris Brown looking. So that's your type. This not my, my type varies, but I would fuck Chris Brown, of course. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I go hold you. He's an, he's, it he's abusive too, but he can get the coop. <laughs> oh, it varies. My God. God. It's like, hey. Do you, do you guys have like seasons? Like sometimes like you're in the mood for yeah. like like Indian dudes or you're in the mood oh, for no. Dominican yeah, yeah, dudes. Yeah, yeah. All, my, all for... my niggas look like brothers. I'm not in a oh. bald season they right all look now. Like cousins. Um right now it's Ooh, artsy you, dang. It's giving trauma. It is. You don't even want a nigga that's bald head. But when I've seen some fine thing? bald niggas and I'm just like, ugh, I'll be on right like <laughs> Sorry, he bald? <laughs> my ex is a fucking liar, and all I can see is him. Oh, I ain't gonna hold Put it back on, please. It really, Damn, all I see. I like being bald. I don't mind. Oh my it's god, cute. yeah, it's giving my ex too. Put the hat that, no, on. no, that's what I'm, you got a good bald head. That's why. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Very few people have good bald, bald heads, though. We know them all. Charlemagne's got a good bald head. Joe Budden has a good, good bald head. head. Like certain people have good bald yeah, heads. Yeah, because some some niggas look, look like head, they got cancer. Like I'm, when white dudes oh my, have bald heads, you are not allowed. They look to like say they have cancer. Yes, I can. They look like they got cancer, and not like the like the kind that you you almost done. That's how they look. They <laughs> you look, look like, like they're on the way out. And I'm no no shade to cancer niggas, but I'm saying Why we want you to have a fighting chance. That's how they look. They look like they just left chemo. Some of them. You know what's crazy? We all. Have someone in our lives, I feel like that's died from cancer that we know and love, and this shit is still funny. I mean, because they nah, my, my friend just beat cancer, so shout out to my best Wait. friend. Good for you. She beat, was a good ball, she, though. She beat breast cancer. And what's crazy is she didn't give she, chemo ball. Well, no. Yeah. And and it what's crazy is when she would walk into places, no one ever knew like that she was bald, not by choice. Yeah, they like just they assume. thought that she was super exotic. Some, because because someone, she was attractive. Someone can pull <laughs> it off. Okay, probably. Some Maybe. people just can talking really about that. Not people off. being shallow with the we cancer ball. Yo, a few weeks ago, we were literally saying on the fucking podcast about how when people are attractive, we be giving them passes for crime. Oh, a thousand percent. Yeah. A thousand percent. It, like, uh, hot people, there's hot privilege. There's some things that hot people can do that other people just can't do. Like lie. That's why we stay with our niggas for so long. Like how people yeah. can do like, like It was like, damn, why you look so good? Like literally before me and my ex broke up, we went to dinner and I, I showed him how I caught him lying. And I said, let me help you lie better to me. That's how fine that nigga was. I don't know if I want to be with a nigga that fine no I more. can't keep doing this I with said, your dumb ass. I said, Fart. can I help you lie better to me? Because you're doing a real bad job. Watch guy, a movie. And I don't want to know. <laughs> Damn. Bro, do you know, I, I really want to get dick. People. Hot people really can do whatever they want. They, they do. can do whatever. I want to get dick from this lying ass nigga once. <laughs> and I remember that I literally said to myself, just get drunk so you won't want to talk to him when you get there. Because if I get... Two in my feelings or in my right mind, he gonna talk himself out the pussy, and I don't Which want him to do that. Men do a lot. And I walked in the Why door. Why do they do that? And they're they they they're so arrogant. They feel like they have to talk. 
Uh, yeah. Huh? Let's talk about that. I, I feel like they I do. I, I mean, I don't know, but I feel like they do. I feel like they have. They feel like they have. Like they don't. They don't want to just rely on the looks. Because there's something. There's something about their arrogance. Like charming a woman is a turn on to to, to straight men. So even if they Ugh. can get you just because they fine, I'm they still lie. in when, their head they want to be like, oh no, I got it because I spit game. It's no, like nigga, when they find and have money, no, a lot of them don't talk. Uh, and it's just like you still get a pussy because you have money. Well, no, that's just because like you're thinking what athlete. I'm thinking about the fine no, rich because niggas I don't fuck. They just, they got a pass in life by height and body and, you oh, know. Oh, yeah, I don't walk. So they didn't really go through a lot a more room. education. I don't walked into a room with a nigga. And it ain't take much. Look, being funny has gotten me in a lot of places, okay? You said what? Being funny. Oh, I fuck a funny dude. See? Yeah, I wish gay men were like I know that, that shit were. Oh. No, it doesn't. I thought gay men were funny. No, no, gay men are funny. But oh, like, okay, dude, I was about to say, yeah. I've never gotten dick from being funny. I've never, I've never gotten like, from someone funny. fine. Like I've never gotten Which dick from crazy some fine dude who's like, "Ooh, what? you're so funny." It's never happened. I thought that, I, I thought that like it's gay men happened. gave up dick and had sex way more freely and casually than straight men. They do. Like, like, like even even like when Grinder first came out, a friend of mine used to refer to the people that he linked on Grinder as his pets, and he called it like he would have a petting zoo. Yeah, and literally they would come over. Well, they would they would I have, finally leave, had, but he. I've had no problem getting dick from like, cause I have a, I have a big dick. I have a nice butt. Like I'm doing fine okay. in the dick department. Come so on. Like, I have no problem hooking up with dudes. I send them nudes. They send nudes back. We fuck. Life goes on. But like, I've never gotten a dude just from being fun. Like I do comedy for a living. I've been doing it for like 14 years now. I'm touring all over the country, blah, 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 blah. And no gay dude has ever come up to me after the show. And was like, oh my God, you were so fun. And like a hot gay dude was like, you're so funny. <laughs> so I'm buttoning the pants. Like it just doesn't happen. That actually, I think happens, even like for me, it happens with hetero relationships. And you know when I noticed it happens? Somebody sent me a clip of Brent Fias on Million Dollars Worth of Game. And Brent has said this as well. So he says... I don't care if you're the hottest girl in the room. I want the girl that walks in and other women are attracted to her energy. You fill the room with energy. You're a powerful person. People want to be around you. That feels good when you're infectious like that and you got good vibes. That's the girl I want, the one that yeah. everybody's like attracted to in that way. Not always the beauty, but your vibe. Oh yeah, that's how I used to get niggas when I was fat. Do you know a lot of people sent me that clip and said, this is you? And I said, bitch, what are you saying? <laughs> I was second best, huh? Oh. <clears throat> like, damn. But any, and a nigga I was fucking with was like, I think about this all the time. Um, the night we met. Now, the dude I was fucking lives in LA. We did meet at one of those like really sceny industry dinners, but I hate that he sent me that shit. You really made me feel like the ugly bitch. And I'm not saying I was, but I'm just saying Dre was at the table. Um, <laughs> Dre is fine. Yeah, no. Dre is fine as well. Well, why Dre. he had to tell me this is, uh, this, this is me and you? From, Dre is? From poor months. From Love and Hip Hop, Basketball Wise, Dre, Dre Face, Dre Michelle. Oh, she's a girl. Dre Michelle, sorry. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, you, I, I, you heard Dre. Yeah, I thought it was a Dre. Dre, Dre, yeah. Dre, yeah. Oh, no, I don't watch Love and Hip Hop. I mean, no, I don't she either, but wives. Oh, not I, don't love watch, hip -hop. I don't watch that either. Drea, really? It's like gay news. She not used to date Chris Brown. Do y'all need oh, to be okay. on the shade rooms? What the fuck? She dated Chris Drea. Brown? Oops. Yes, that's how people know her. She dated Chris Brown. No, that's not how people, that's how people know Karuchi. No, bro, she dated Chris Brown before Karuchi. No. Yes. I'm not saying no to that. I'm just saying Drea's got her own name. Now, but she like got on the basketball wise. Because someone else fight me on this. no way. She was fucking with Lance Stevenson and then she was, but she was fucking Chris Brown first. Like publicly, they were together. Y'all think Chris Brown packing? No, I think his dick pic leaked, didn't it? I don't know. I, if it did, someone DM it to me. I didn't. Can you see pull it. it up? This is why I love work. Uh, is, did his? Can dick we pic, look up Chris Brown? Did dick it really please? leak? Because I, because please text that to me. I don't know it leaked. <laughs> I, mean, I think you could Rihanna, like Google it. Rihanna leaked. I don't care about when. No, no, when they were dating. Oh. Maybe that's where you thought his leak. No, Chris Brown's dick le leaked a long time ago. Really? I don't really like him, you but I do want to see it. I think. I think it looked. I think it looked kind of. Thank you for trying to find I'm it. I'm trying to find <laughs> Chris <laughs> Brown. Dick Ed, pic. Don't you love your job? I love my job. Looking up Chris, leaked this, dick. This is interesting. I wonder to if it did leak. I would love on this. I'd be, I, do y'all see the pictures of like people like paying a thousand dollars to take like these sexy yes. ass pictures? I with love them? it. Oh, I love that. That was. I think that's so good for him. You know what? It's really difficult about Chris Brown. Like he does. Like you said, he's abu not abusey. He's Johnny Depp is abusey. We saw what Chris Brown did, but like abusey, and he has a not abu He's an abuser. Yeah, well, abusey is is like, are you or are you not? Oh no, I think Johnny Depp's an abuser as well. They oh like, okay. When you read the thing. Yeah, they're both abusey. Well, I'm just saying, I don't know how we keep letting it go. Is it talent? Is it fineness? Like it's sick shit, bro. Oh I shit, is that his dick? Oh yes. Sir. See? Oh, you see? Wait, I told wait, wait, you. wait, 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 wait. Can you, I told y'all. How can I see? I, can you, I told y'all there was a no. picture. Oh, wait, go back, go back. shit. I told you it is long, but it's skinny. It's not skinny. 
That is a Let nice. Be, there be dick. angles God too to the damn. dick pics, man. Can you put pic. it on that screen and get that's, good, that's what I'm player. trying to do. But that being said, he has it on his OnlyFans. What? Wait, Chris. Yeah. Chris Brown. Then he got OnlyFans. Yes, I don't like this. The album failing thousand dollar OnlyFans. How much is his OnlyFans? Let's buy it on the WTF card. That is not real. Chris Brown don't need no goddamn OnlyFans. There's no way. Oh, there you go. Tiger has an OnlyFans. Tiger has an OnlyFans. Yeah, he needs one. No Ready way. for that Chris Brown dick? Yo. That second oh, yeah. top one is the one I saw. That bottom one ain't his. There go Chris Brown dick. Told you. No, it says this is it the new. Soft, first of all, this is the dick. new 2021 photo of Chris Brown's dick. No, from his that's, a dark that's, dick. A, that's somebody else's dick. That's Wait, a, that, that they said it's from his only one. The top one with his face, that's the Why one I saw. Why is the website called The Sword? What, it's <laughs> gay sex and life. <laughs> we like puns. Can you click on the uh, the go top one? top one. Akeem, can we just talk about this later? You the guest. I know. I'm sorry. I told y'all it leaked a while ago. It looked cute. That's a nice fucking dick. It's a, it's a cute dick. Nah, I no, don't. No, that's that. nice. Chris <laughs> No, we gotta cut no. it. <laughs> oh, I mean, you do, just bleep him out. Just bleep him out. I don't know why he's here. He, they gonna be like, never have him back. Wait a second. You wanna bleep out a comedian's joke? It's just a joke, Weezy. You can do whatever you want. You can't podcast. censor you a comedian. You want, should we get the FCC involved and talk about oh, what oh, we should be talking wow, about? Wow. I'm going to have to Google that later, though. So here we go with the fuck shit, y'all. Only because, and we had to wait a little bit for the white person to leave next door. But let's yes, talk we, about we, it. No lie. We've been getting a lot of audiobook recordings from some company that has just been flooding to us. A bunch of old white people in this bitch. We're recording the it, little memoirs. Ta- right? Shout out to Sophia. It's probably her bringing in the white clientele. We appreciate you. I love uh, your I matrix pants. Sis. Are those matrix pants? Oh my god. Oh, here we go. Okay, sorry guys. I'm very okay. Uh, here we go. I was talking shit about here it. Here we go. Her name is Emily. Of, of course. course it is. <laughs> <laughs> and Emily decided to go on a little rant about us and said. Calling out the horrible pod, calling out Wheezy for being consistently racist towards <laughs> white people, mm-hmm. when she ironically is half white. Just stop. I think Full Court Pumps is racist too. But I can barely listen anymore because it's just full of shit, including a lot of illegal and illicit content. What? She added the FCC, mm-hmm, she's followed a white, by she's us, a Karen. and thinks that we should probably talk about sex work as a country in terms of the law. The, um, because we apparently are... Um, Soliciting illegal and illicit content. Nigga, y'all and not sex the ed, FCC. Like, She's not a nigga. She is a whole Karen. Hey, <laughs> bitch, why are you gonna add that FCC bitch? What? Do people not understand the definition of racism? Like you have to no, be in the you, position of exactly. power to Hello. be racist. Exactly. Well, black people aren't in a position of power at all. There's no way we could be racist. You could bro. say prejudice if you were using words correctly. You could say that. I don't prejudice. know where she found us, but Sophia's about to record in seven minutes, and I put this all on her. Every time we have a Caucasian guest, somebody comes in and swoops on our Apple reviews. Wait, did you, who was your guest that you had recently? We'll randomly throw them in for no fun. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We randomly throw them in. Just throw them in. Yeah. Okay. And when we do, somebody be coming right back up. Boop, 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 boop. And they just How be dare like, they? Wow. does she got a display picture? She does. Can I oh, yeah. I want to see has, what she looks like. She has pink hair. Oh, oh shocker. This bitch. She has this white bitch. Well, it's, I'm lying. <laughs> it's giving wig. It's giving Party City. Can I see? God, it no is ass. giving Party City. That's why oh, you're mad. Oh, God. That's I'd be her. mad too. Look and, I'm mad, and I'm mad. No, that's her. Well, and I'm mad. Well, let's be, put her photo up. Um, you know what? Well, she can see that I searched her. So the problem with typing stuff like this, she also has her LinkedIn connected in her let's bio. Let's do some illegal shit now, ho. What's her name? Oh, God. She's a political activist. Power to the people. Get the fuck. She's a freelancer. That's her. Emily Herwan. Yeah. Oh, she seems like an all, all lives matter type bitch. Give him she's, I don't, she works at Beast freelancing on a blogger. Oh, Beast? That's interesting. They Don't just, say what she works because you might give them you might give them like numbers. Uh, they just did a, uh, they just did an article with me. Um, okay, so with I'll, I'll talk to them. She's a <laughs> yeah, she, she's she a blogger. You would have a blog hoe and an author of four books to be found on only Amazon um, in a PDF form. She's Ooh, a writer. Of books. Let me see. An ethics for? consult. I know. Oh wow. Stanford Healthcare. How can you be a freedom fighter? And then police a black platform. Oh, yeah, she on on war, on on freedom, on what you can and can't say. You on telling and then me, the tag the FCC. Power to the people is in your LinkedIn, in um, your LinkedIn headliner, and that's her. No that's way, a, that's a better picture. No yes. way. Ooh, Without see. the party city, white people don't never got no shoes on. In oh, the photo, she don't. looks so plain. Well, I'll that's tell you what, Emily. why she's mad because y'all got curves and y'all are fine. She, mad. she looks you, like a Barbie without the B. You like, may not know like a, this because you may not be able to. 
I don't know, withstand the niggas and bitches that we say on this show. Oh, and it, I it, do feel sorry for you in that regard. But what I will say is this show has helped women get safe abortions, mm. leave abusive relationships, mm-hmm. find safe havens, mm-hmm. suicide lines. Yep. We've talked about sex trafficking. Yep. We've given resources to find, uh, what was I going to say? Um, for the LGBT community to find mm. places to be able to talk, mm-hmm. find mentorship, get safe sex education. Mm-hmm. I want to add that we have also partnered with Flow Code, which is a nonprofit organization in Austin and now has another chapter because of our partnership with them who provides menstrual products for underserved mm-hmm. communities. We've also partnered with Survive to Thrive, which helps women uh, get back into work with resume and work clothes after leaving domestic violence. All women. Let them but fucking specifically know. something that we love to do on this show, which is our fun b- favorite priority is to give black people yes. a place to feel at home, to feel seen, to feel like they have community, which Beep. you are trying to break up with the FCC ho and you Beep. fucking cunt cunt. You can kiss my black ass. That's a fucking cunt cunt. I don't know That's what else it could stand for, but you got nothing else to do. No. Really? No, she this doesn't. is why we need to give her. This is the type of bitch that need a job. You a fucking blogger. That's why she a freelance. And you got the goddamn nerve to take hey. the Sorry. FCC. Hey. I mean, how dare you? No, that's God. <laughs> Making white people poor is kind of a funny joke. <laughs> <laughs> and I will say, Emily, I will say this from um, my LA home and my New York one and my studio that I'm sitting in with my black ass. Um, and we could maybe even take it to yours when we travel there next week to mm-hmm. record another episode of this podcast that won't be taken down by the FCC mm-hmm. because, because it can. is already existing on iHeartMedia, <laughs> well, uh, YouTube, and many the, platforms and, and where it's been making many people money, including <laughs> us. And we would probably need to find a donation fund. Who is Emily's biggest in- enemy? I don't know. Let's hit her up. I'll go find uh, Let's watch them thrive. Should we find, like, go through her tweets? All right, that's doing a lot. No, I want you. <laughs> Girl, we working. Well, we're just going to post um, your LinkedIn so everybody can find you. Her name is Emily, E-M-I-L-Y. Common spelling is a commoner bitch that you are. Last name, H-E-R-O-N. So, do with that right. what you will. <laughs> anyway, let's get back into sucking dick illegally. <laughs> um, have you ever kissed... Illegal dick sucking. She said we were doing illegal shit. Oh. Oh, okay. okay. Have I ever kissed... A woman? Yes. How was it? Three women I kept losing at Spin the Bottle. Uh, <laughs> was this all on the same night? It was all the same night. That's I'm, not, this I'm, does a, not count. I'm so serious. I was, I, I, I'm a gold star gay. I've never been ro- romantically attracted to women at all. I've never slept with a woman. I've never done anything. Uh, high school, we were playing Spin the Bottle because we were like in a junior year. Like, wow. Well, it was only from Spin the Bottle? Yeah. yeah. So it was Spin the Bottle. The whole time I was trying, I have a joke about it, but the whole time I was trying to kiss Steven and it landed on three white women. So sorry, <laughs> black women. I've only kissed white women uh, it fucking Emily three, I know it landed on three white women I kissed them and then it finally landed on Steven but I wasn't out of the closet at the time so like when it landed on Steven I was like oh no Steven <laughs> <laughs> but then in my head I'm like oh shit nigga Steven this is all I want. was it your first kiss it's been a while yeah I grew up in Florida very conservative where uh, Orlando. I grew up in Palm Bay Florida oh, oh, wait, you, are, you know we from 407 Chopper City brat 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 Oh, you're from Orlando? Born and raised, baby. Graduated okay, I from started, Ehigh. I started comedy there in 2010. No. Oh, wow. In Winter Park. I, we graduated in 09. Oh, I started in Winter Park, uh, Austin's Coffee in Winter Park. What high school and you went to? I didn't go to high school in Orlando. Oh, okay. I went to high school in Palm Bay, Florida, which is like an hour south of Orlando. We're, we're glad wow. you got, were able to get out. Oh, 100%. <laughs> Not us having <laughs> Central Florida in the building. This is explaining why y'all matching so well today. Oh, no. not saying we tacky. No, we no, no, way, no, way, no, way. no, 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 Every time I wear something crazy, my friends be like, you know, you from Florida, girl. I'm like, damn. I don't, I don't think from this Florida. is crazy. Not this. I was did you guys go to, did you guys go to college there? Like you guys no, were like full sale or something? Here. Okay. I mean, I went to Valencia. Okay. Which is a I didn't community go, I didn't, college. I, didn't college. And I know dropped. Valencia. I didn't go to college. But yeah, so that was my first kiss. Oh, I didn't go, go. I dropped out, but I went, but I didn't. My favorite. But I like to say it in a room full of Caucasians like Emily Heron. I didn't go. <laughs> now, what um, you, your celebrity crush is actually on here for me. So we f- figured it's Chris Brown. But if the only way to get to your celebrity crush would to be by having a woman join in. What Who's would it, the woman? Yep. Who's the woman? Uh, let's think of a good one. We always say Rihanna. OK, sure. Oh, but that's easy. Yeah, that's easy. I mean, for me, I guess. Um, yeah. So it would be three. So it would be me. 
I wouldn't want me, Rihanna, and Chris. That, that seems like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah, that wouldn't be a good. Well, we could always put it like pre 04 or something like that. Well, I mean, my other celebrity, my other celebrity <laughs> fantasy is Ryan Reynolds. I'll totally. We just said oh. it had to be a. Oh, oh, you would do Ryan and Rihanna. Yeah, I'll okay. do that. All right. Yeah. Just that's a cool. whole mixed bag. That'd be fun. That I mean, I wouldn't be... do shit with Rihanna, but it'd be cool for her to be there. You know what? I'd fuck Rihanna and her little fine-ass prince she used to have. I'd fuck her in ASAP, too. Shit. She's I'd cute. probably fuck her in I anybody. hope he can hear us through the vents. <laughs> 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 He'd be over there sometimes, and every time they in that damn office, I'd be walking by slow. Like, Wait, so have you even seen a, a white dick in person? No. Wait. Not e- Wait, in the sex club? Oh, yeah, in the sex club. Okay. okay. So I have, you're right. But seeing a like, white d- big dick is kind of funny. But it's not like I, I tried to look. I love seeing white big dick. I what? Do, some, some white dudes are packing. It, it's weird. It's not like I tried to look just because I knew I Well, if you're I'm in the sex club, you're going to see him, yeah. I'm just not mm. interested. I mean, I'll, I'll say this. I haven't had sex with a white guy in so long. I had that one blip in Dallas with uh, Loverboy, but I haven't had sex with a white guy in so long that what's starting to happen is now I can't get back in it. Like when I was in Europe, I really thought I was going to fuck some Italian dude or some white French dude and nope. You didn't? Did you fuck anyone in Europe? No. I had a blip I'm so sorry. little moment in the bathroom with a girl that I almost fucked. Ooh. Except I found out she was 20. Oh. Oh. I would fuck a 20 year old. I would too, but I'm just not judging. <laughs> you guys you, just said, ooh. You really just said, ooh. Yeah, yeah. I, I know, like, you know, it really threw me, it really threw me off. Wait, how, how old are you if you don't mind me asking? 31. I'm 31 too. Me too. Oh, you, you missed that opportunity. You know what I mean? <laughs> 20 is not too young to fuck. I'm going to you only 31. Like. Are you bi? You're bi? Mm-hmm. It's fuck. Are you bi? Yes. Ooh. Yeah, we both be fucking. She says I'm gay. Not fucking, me. sucking, licking. Not me. Hello, we lead the pack. Perfect. Of the bi girls. <laughs> when I had a girlfriend, I was real gay, though. I wasn't giving shit. Hold on. What's this bitch name again? Was she Italian? Okay, here she is. Oh, you missed out. Oh, yeah, she you, is gorgeous. Yeah, what the fuck? No. You're stupid. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're kind of... <laughs> she's French. I don't think you are who you say you are. I think Sharon has talked to me out of it. Who, who was that? One cancel of our friends her. who basically was like, <laughs> it's a dude. Oh, cancel him. He was basically saying like, that oh. sounds like he, a cock block. He was like, Why? this is way too predatory. He's like, you what, got it. You're bugging the fuck was out. Was he gay? No. Bro, he done fucked some young bitches. He was Get just mad because she was into you and not him. You know what it was? My friends started talking me down the ledge too. Oh, you have bad it's, friends. You have not good friends. None of these people are your friends. She's consenting. Should I fuck the she's, Yeah, she's consenting. She's, it's, it's not like you're taking advantage of her. The I'm going to go back. You know I'm going back to friends. Lord. <laughs> she was gorgeous. Yeah, you should have definitely. God be, damn it. I think, I think if any, in, tw- in your 20s, I think it's fine. Stop. Like, now, now you I'm said gonna, now 18, I'm I'd be like, okay, girl, wait a few years. <laughs> but like 20, 20 is 20 is fine. But you're 31. So like, the teen is off. 40, then I'd be like, okay, bitch, calm down. But you're you're 31. That's that's 11 years. That's not that big of a deal. She wasn't yeah, giving me 20. and my ex were just 17 years apart. You know what I was starting thinking too? If she said she was 20, what if she's younger? I told oh, her. Oh, okay. Well, that's a fair. Forte. Yeah, you should just passport that bitch. Anyway, can you give us a sex tip? I don't want to make it about me anymore. Okay. That's- so this is our hors d'oeuvre <laughs> for our hors d'oeuvre section of the pod. We give sex tips. So if you have any unique trick that you do or a trick that's been done on you and you want to share it with the world, this is your time to shine, King. A tip. Yes. Um, hmm, a tip for people in sex. Obviously gay people because I don't have sex checks. Uh, <laughs> could be a tip for hetero if it's like something to be done I mean, for men. anal, ball sucking, ball sucking, rimming. People don't like ball sucking. That's the a lot. That's a lot. They do. That's a lot. I don't like ball sucking. Oh, oh, okay. you don't. So speak for yourself. Do you like ball sucking? The men that I, I, the, the men that I fuck actually like prefer their balls. So I guess you won't be matching with them on Grinder. That's yeah. fine. I <laughs> no, suck some balls, but it's not what they, I prefer. They love a good ball <laughs> suck. So I just shared a good ball sucking tip so you can share something else. Uh, share a favorite thing you like to do in bed. Favorite thing? Favorite yeah. thing. I I recently, I've been like really big into rimming dudes i normally mm. don't but like recently i've been getting like if if the if the ass is nice you if gotta you don't make sure not to ass, get hepatitis eh that too but I don't, i'm always fucking clean people i'm not fucking these you don't, don't know that you're right but in my head i'm my only spirit, saying that because <laughs> someone i know got it and i was like how you got that shit and he was like fuck bitch i don't know eating ass oh mm. well we were about to share a blunt and you told me uh, <laughs> But he do be fucking hood niggas, so maybe that's why. Lord. Oh. They don't know how to clean their booty holes, right? So you like rimming, but do you like getting rimmed? I don't mind it. It's not, my, it's not my, um, 
it's not like my favorite thing in the world, but like if a dude wants to, I'm not going to be like, no. And then with rimming, do they have to be manscaped or will you eat a hairy booty hole? I don't care. If the dude's hot, I don't care. I don't have a rubber. I know. I just experienced that for the first time. <laughs> you said you have a big dick. Do you feel like yeah. you were forced into bottoming because you have a big dick? Sometimes I bottom because I have a big dick because I don't, I've dealt with, because sometimes people will see my dick. And, it, and, I, and, they, they, and they'll see it's big, but they won't notice how thick it also is. I was gonna say, is it the width? Yeah, yeah. And they'll just, and they'll, and they'll, and they'll prep for it. Like, you know, stuff you would doubt. So, you know what you got to do if you're a guy having sex. And then they won't prep well enough because they didn't anticipate it being that big. Because people think that people lie about pictures. So, what's a, wait, so what's a half ass Buddha hole prep? It's it's like when you when they deuce but they don't deuce completely or they don't deuce as deeply as they need to because oh. it goes deeper than they were expected. See, so so um, all of y'all need to go apologize to Medina because the nigga could have been prepped, maybe just not fully prepped, or her. I don't know who the dookie slice came from. She said it was her. her sheets, but. That's what I'm saying. Maybe she didn't prepare for the. We had the an size episode of where a home girl of ours was talking about how she would lay in her own shit in a hotel bed because it's like, oh, everything's nasty, and it went viral. <laughs> yeah, oh. and I ain't gonna lie. In the moment, I feel like if I didn't know her, I would have went harder at it. But well, I know Medina's I mean, I, silly and funny. But I was like, bitch, this is really. Nasty. Oh, she was getting. She had anal sex with a guy, and and she and said, she kind actually, of, I'll like replay a, the clip for us. Skid, there was a skid mark on. I mean, you don't have to play. She just said there was yeah, a skid mark on, shit. on the bed. Yeah. Basically. Oh, no. I would have yeah. took off all that stuff immediately. Exactly. You I mean, said my, what? I, I would have took off all the bedding and told yeah. the people and to bring the new bedding. And that's where she just what got you? judged. Yes, 100%. Me too. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, you know, I get maybe if it's like four o'clock in the morning and you drunk. I sometimes. don't. We're I talking about, okay, so I are we talking about like a skid or are we talking about like there's like shit? She said it was she a skid mark. She said a slice. Nah, bro. Right. No, no, no. She said a skid mark slice. and she said a slice. I'm not sleeping on no. that. Yeah, I'm not sleeping. I mean, not I'm if, taking off all the bedding and if I'm I roll over on the bare mattress. Tight. Okay. Before I sleep. But not if they the, didn't, if they the, didn't bring. A bear. I don't know. What's worse? A bear mattress in a hotel or a sheet with your own well, shit on it? Well, the thing about the hotel is. <laughs> a bear mattress in a hotel might be tough. worse than a sheet with a skid mark on it. Bro. I'm going to take bear mattress. I'm going to take bear mattress. I would take bear mattress. Bear mattress in a hotel. I'm rolling over on shit, bro. What type of hotel we do in a hotel? It don't matter. It don't, but also I do stay in nice shit. It don't matter. Bear and hotel. if you fucking me in the ass, it better be luxury. Bear hotel oh mattresses are, are, are cleaner because they're, they're constantly they're, putting they're, sheets on them. They're not. Nah, bro. They, nah, bro. they, they, they might be. Yeah, they <laughs> might be. They might be nasty. Enough, nah, bro. They're okay. cleaner than shit. Child, I mean, yo, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yes, yes, I, I, I don't want to do nothing with my own shit. Yeah, go hepatitis A again. There's a whole lot more on that bear I mattress. I would 100%. <laughs> but then I sleep on the floor. Like, I sleep on the oh, floor. The floor? Yes. Ooh, I'm not dirty. sleeping on the couch. I'm not sleeping <laughs> so, on the shit. you know when I first found out, and this is actually a crazy thing, because I don't know why a lot of straight women and men probably have no idea how messy gay sex is. I was 22. It can be. It, it's not always messy. If y'all are clean, it's not. But go ahead. Uh, I was about to say, I watch a lot of gay porn. It don't be messy. It's so, not, because you just got to know how to... That is true. It don't be. It don't be But it can get messy. It can, of course. Sex with anybody can get messy. I realized right. how messy it could get when Vinny wanted to fuck this guy at my house we were living in Orlando. Who pull up a picture of Vinny? I wonder, I wonder if I fucked Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vinny doesn't. I don't, I don't oh, know. does he not fuck? Or does he not t bottom? No, Vinny's no, a top. Say he's a top. I Why do Vinny like said that? No, but anyway, <laughs> Vinny took Vinny fucked in my bed and I slept on the couch. And he literally had to take the sheets off my bed and wash them. He's like, "Girl, gay sex gets messy." And I was like, "Does no, I it?" Know. I thought I he was just know. being kind. No, I don't know Vinny. He fucked any of your friends? No. I don't have most of my friends are straight. So if he fucked any of my friends, good Same for with him. <laughs> most of my friends are comedians, which is always like straight. Do you fuck dudes. any of your straight friends yet? Nah. Yet. Yeah. Not the yet. I fu I fucked some dudes. This happened in Denver, actually. <laughs> I fucked this dude. I was in Fort Collins last week, headlining a headlining a bunch of shows, and I fucked this dude and he get and here's the thing that was Did weird. Did you repeat that headlining a bunch of shows? We heard you. Some, some times people like straight, like straight dudes have to. Have Not to, the air quotes. Okay. So I was hooking, I was hooking up with this dude and he was like, he was telling me, like we were talking on Grindr. He's like, Hey, this is my first time. I've never hooked. I've never been with a guy before. You this is my first time. Too. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, nigga, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> and then we're, we're having sex and he's giving me a blowjob and it's the best blowjob I've ever gotten. So the whole time, like this nigga is a liar. Like I'm just Do like, they think you like it maybe? They think it's hot? I don't, I mean, if, I it's mean, to not. be fair, when I gave head for the very first time in my life, he said I was good too and swore I did it before and I didn't. 
So sometimes you do things with a passion. Yeah. But this was like the type of like this was like this was like adept head. Like I, I've been sucking dick since I was nineteen. He, I've never. It was like one of the oh, best ones I ever got. I'm like, nah, nigga. If if this is your first time, you should be teaching a class. What made it so good? <laughs> everything. The the spit ratio, the the deep <laughs> throating, everything, everything about it was like you should Giving teach advance. a class at Everest or something. Like you should teach a dick not, sucking class. Not Everest. Everest. And I was like, the whole time I was, it was great, but I was also thinking, I can't believe he lied to me. Like, why would he lie to me? Were you thinking that while you were fucking? I him? was thinking the whole time that he why was lying. Why did it go in easy? No, I didn't end up fucking. You just blew me. But the whole time I was like. This is great. This can't be your first time. Let's talk about a time that hasn't been so great. Right. What's one of your worst worst app learned. encounters? This okay. This is one of my. It was weird. So this is why it was bad. Right. You sat up. I had right. an almost threesome. Now I've had a threesome before because I'm an adult, but like I've had <laughs> this, was, this was an almost threesome. Okay. So I'm on Grinder. It's two o'clock in the morning. I this is when I used to live in South Central. I lived in South Central Los Angeles for four years. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the baddies. In the, in the hood. And this guy messaged me on Tuesday. It was like Tuesday at like 2 a.m., right? And he messaged me. He's like, hey, do you want to fuck me and my husband? And I'm like, yeah, it's Tuesday. I top on Tuesday. <laughs> Not top Tuesday. Top and Tuesday. <laughs> so he messaged me and he so he sent his location because you guys know on Grindr you can send your location. Yep. Because we're monsters. So he sends his yeah, location. Really it's insane. wild. It's so but it's so not. that you don't have to exchange phone numbers. Exactly. You just send send the location. So he dropped his pin. It was like fifteen minutes away driving in South Central. It's two a.m. I'm like I'm horny, whatever. So I drive to his house. I get to his house. Y'all I'm like, live a dangerous life in the gay community. Yeah. Wildly. Like. You went to a stranger's house to fuck him and his husband at 2 a.m. without even having his number. Just Damn, on baby, a Tuesday. why are you judging? It, I mean, I'm just trying, like, I'm trying to get I'm more details, this thing. and I'm like. It gets worse. Oh, keep going. <laughs> so I walk up to his house. I'm about to ring the doorbell. And then this dude gets comes out of the shadows. <laughs> Stop, not the shadows. <laughs> he did. Keep he, going. He comes out the shadows. I'm like, oh, shit, it's Brent. His name was Brent. <laughs> and, and, and so Brent comes out of that white dude he comes out of the shadows I'm like oh I was just about to knock on your door this is I'm like this is cool are we gonna go in together he's like oh this isn't my house I'm like oh it's okay he's like nah but this this is my U-Haul wait so he wanted you to fuck in the U-Haul yeah so huh? he, was, he, 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 I, he met me outside he's like this isn't how my house how big was the U-Haul it's a bit, it's a decent size, like a twenty dollar. Like a Wait, bit, it's so a he dropped a pin. This is giving the nigga in London who was living sleeping in his car. Mm -hmm, it was. Describe Wait, it was, the Patreon. So he, he dropped the pin of just a random complex that he was around yes. with his U-Haul. Yes. Oh, because the pin was where the U-Haul was. Exactly. Wait a second. Wait a second. And so him and his husband were gonna fuck you in the back of the U-Haul truck. I'm fucking them. Oh, you're fucking them. He said, bitch, don't get it fucked up. And keep going. So what <laughs> happens is, so I'm horny as fuck. Wait, what size U-Haul? It's a big U-Haul. Oh, okay. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if it would have been a no at this point. Depending on if they was fine or they not. They were keep fine. On. He was fine. I didn't see the husband yet. So he Ooh. walks me to the U-Haul. He opens the door because he's a gentleman. And <laughs> in the back of the U-Haul, there's an air mattress. Or, or, or a mat I don't know if it's an air mattress, but there's a mattress. Clearly, you just don't care about mattresses. And before you judge me, there, there was also a headboard. So already they're doing better the than straight people. The yes. oh. It's a big U-Haul. It's like were, a moving U-Haul. Maybe they were breaking up and he was like, let's get one last fuck. Keep going. <laughs> so I walk in, there's a mattress, there's a headboard, there's a, <laughs> there's a chair in the corner. It's a studio apartment at this point. Like there's a chair in the corner. Now I know LA is expensive. There's but. a chair in the corner. I kid you not, this is the part that you I can't. You can stand up. This is the, yeah. This is the part. This is the part that I can't understand. There's a lamp in the corner, and it's on. And like I don't understand how Battery it's on. It might it USB. Be, but it was yeah. in the corner on. I'm like, what the fuck? Or it could have been like one of those clap on lights. It like, could have been. Girl, they still be plugging in, right? No, you I mean, put batteries. You can have some battery. <laughs> yeah. It had to be battery. So the you so the lights on. There's a chair, right? So he's sitting on the chair. When I walk into the U-Haul, his 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 boyfriend or husband, I don't know the stat the marital status, was in a jock strap, like like face it's down, over. ass up type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hot. Uh, yeah, it was pretty hot. So I walk in and he closes the U-Haul, and in my head I'm like, oh no, murder. <laughs> 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 but like in my dick, I'm like, this is gonna be so much fun. So like I still so I start fucking the dude, the husband, and here's the thing. This was, was it was the car shaking? Was it hot? 
It, it, it didn't take that much because it was kind of, it was like a really big, but it was moving. But here's why I, why I think I was cheated because it wasn't because that's why I say it was an almost threesome, right? Because like when you do a threesome, the best part is you get two of the things that you like. Like you get two dicks, two asses, two titty, four titties. You get double the thing right, that right. you want. So I'm fucking this dude, and the whole time his husband or boyfriend is just sitting there watching. Kind of cold. Exactly, but that's not what what I signed up for. You signed up for. I threesome. signed up for a threesome. I'm all about fucking some dude's husband in front of you. That's cool. I'm whatever. I don't shame, but I didn't sign up for that. I signed up Ooh. for a threesome. You like so the whole time, play with my nipples. Yeah, so the whole time I'm fucking this dude, I'm just looking at him. I'm like, are you gonna tag in or are we gonna <laughs> are we gonna sweat? Am I gonna fuck you? Was next? he at least like, jacking off? Because then technically that's like was he jacking? Yeah, no. Oh, oh he stayed well, fully clothed. The, he was sitting there. You could see that he had a heart on because he had like gym shorts on or whatever, but he was just sitting there watching as I fucked this dude's husband. And I'm like, are you going to sub in? Like, what the fuck are we? Why? Why? And I, he never did. So I, I fucked him. I came and I left. But here's the thing. That's why after I left. Oh, no, 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 no. First no, off, I, you, I was going to say, you went the back thing. wild. There's nothing. Not, here's the thing that's wild. You're already in the wild. Okay. Yeah, I never heard about someone coming to you all before. They drove off. <laughs> Because they didn't live in that area. They just went to South Central to, fuck, to find some black dude to fuck his white husband. Wow. It was like some, some racist shit, which I'm like, I'm all about racism if I get to fuck white dudes for vengeance. But it was, yeah, they went to South Central to find a black dude to fuck his white husband. That is, that is the wild part. That's a thunder. No, that, that is the wild part. That adds on to it, this yeah. Is awesome. Coming in U-Hauls. He just fucking fucking right fucking there. Right there. Fucked up. Yeah. At least they had a place. They had, yeah, that was the, they, they went to South Central because they know South Central's black you fuck. said they drove. They drove the fuck off. off. That's crazy, babe. And wait, where do you think we can get a black guy? Yeah, that's a hundred percent what it was. They they didn't live anywhere in South. Did Central. you sleep well that was night? Was it at least a good? Oh yeah. Was it a, was, yeah, was it a, a good nice night? apartment complex oh, that they sorry. chose? <laughs> It was South Central. It was. It wasn't. I mean, it, it, there were more dangerous parts that they could have picked. You know what I mean. So it was safer in that sense, but it oh. wasn't by any means nice. Despite, but it wasn't uh, like it was. It's South Central. Despite I mean, all that, was nice that a good night? South Central, no shade, but it's still of the hood. Two a.m. <laughs> oh, Two a.m. Yeah. on Tuesday. I had to drive to South Central recently to get weed after midnight because the store is closed. Yeah. And I was on my period, so I really needed it. And I was, I'm on my way there. I'm telling a friend in LA where I'm going. She's like, bitch, they gonna kill you. Oh, you got a Tesla, a Rolex. What the fuck is wrong? And she was like, they really need to get Where high. in South Central do you, I mean, where in LA do you live? I live in Wee Hill. Oh, okay, girl. Shut up. Yeah, I lived in South Central. I still have an apartment there, but it, uh, my lease is up next month, so I'm not gonna resign. But wait, so I ain't gonna hold you. Would you fuck a nigga in a U-Haul? If I already fuck, if I'm like. If he's fine as hell. So, I don't do anonymous sex, but I know that's some gay shit. Yeah. No shame. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gay people do it all the time. I but but I, mainly yeah. because of safety, being on the DL, whatever. Like, shit happens, right? But um, Sex is more dangerous for women anyway. Right. Blank period. Right. Okay. There's a few scenarios. Let's say I'm already fucking you and we're in the U-Haul. Yes. Let's because say... helping you move. Helping him move, whatever. I'd give... Okay. I would fuck in a U-Haul. Okay. Like, it wasn't that bad. It, it, that wasn't that bad. In retrospect... Didn't it get hot? I, yes, like, it got Because I was moving hot. a lot of... Because you had to close it. Got, it. it got, he didn't close you, it all the way. It was like a crack. So then people could have walked by and heard y'all moaning and... In theory, yes. But it's 2 a.m. in the hood. So. And y'all kept a U-Haul cracked? Like, this you, sounds the other, dangerous. The other, the other option is suffocating. <laughs> like, it, it'd be hot as fuck if you didn't keep it cracked. So you had to have air in the motherfucker. Then it's giving us fissiation. I recently had to do, I don't know if anyone's ever heard, I believe it's called an ADR where you are mouthing over, um, it's like for animation, right? Or like when people make a mistake in a movie, you have to like redo the scene. Yeah. An ADR booth is so fucking hot. Oh, yeah. And it's I awesome. was there with this girl that I, she kind of is an actress, whatever. But anyway, we had already kind of fucked around a little bit. I will never forget. It was so fucking hot in there. And the engineer had to leave. She was like, let's fuck in here. And I'm like, bitch, and die? <laughs> like, it's already a box. And she was like, people do it all the time. And I'm I mean, like, you can fuck in Florida. You can fuck in I India. don't. No. Like, here's the thing. I don't like public sex. I don't like, I've done it a lot. I've had sex in wild <laughs> places. I'll do it. But I just don't Get prefer me a to. Fuck I don't you prefer all. a bed. Like I've had sex at a construction site. With a construction worker who was on the site, which was wildly hot. Tell us but about a time. What? I would, yeah, I was at a construction. Was this another drop pin? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. This was during the day, though. Would you rather do your in calls or out calls? I prefer to host. Yeah. I mean, now that I have my own place, I prefer people to come over. I don't mind going to other people. When you places. had roommates, though, did you not want to host? I would sometimes if the dude was really hot, but I'd rather not deal with it. 
Is your roommate, just, was your roommate gay? No, I've never lived with gay people. I've always lived with straight dudes. Oh. So I'd rather not deal with I'd rather go to their place. But now that I'm my own place, I'm all about inviting people. I don't, here's the thing. I don't mind sex in public, which obviously. One, which one makes you feel safer? Having a stranger come to you or you going to Dude, someone's place? You're saying hosting, I guess. Makes hosting, because I can, I, I mean, it's my, prefers, it's, but I want to know it's what, my place. what's safer. Okay. For me, I mean, honestly, I feel safe regardless, even though I, I probably shouldn't, but I feel safe regardless because it's like, what dudes? <laughs> okay. I just, I've never felt like, even when I was fucking in the U-Haul. You, because you feel like you could be there. I was scared. I'm like, oh shoot, we might get caught. But I was never scared that they're going to murder me and tie me up in the U, which was a hundred percent a possibility. But I was just like, we think without dicks. So it's I'm a good way like, to go. Yeah. It's so crazy that y'all aren't afraid of dudes, and here we are living in fear every day. Because we're dudes. Because, but that's what I'm saying. For y'all not to be afraid of dudes knowing what dudes are capable of, still. Right, but I, I think like he's saying because we're dudes, he feels stronger. Right, we feel oh, a little more defenseless. Now. In theory, that's how theory, I, that's how we okay. feel. Okay. I've just never been, I've never been, not that I'm not scared of dudes. Like I've never, I've had wild, crazy sex, but I've never been like, I've never been in danger in I any felt situation. Threatened. You know what? I've I guess we threatened. could equate this to when I fuck hood niggas. I'd be feeling safer. But you're not a hood bitch. But I'm saying like, they're oh, like. feel safer by the hood. They be, did you not see the TikTok of the nigga? He was in the fucking, he was in the hospital room. And was like, the word was, y'all thought y'all got me, but y'all shot her instead. And it's his girlfriend in the bed. Damn. And he's like, ops, y'all ain't get me. Bitch. Yes. Now I would like to say it something. It is dangerous. Oh, we would have broke up immediately. One. Oh, as soon as I woke up. <laughs> as soon. That's going to be, that, woke it's up. giving Chris Sean Rock. Like, that's not. Who, by the way, I know we're going to interview her one day. I feel it in my heart. I, don't, I really love niggas. I don't, I don't think I've ever fucked a hood nigga. Ever? No. No trade? Damn. I don't wow. like that. Man. I don't like that. Energy, the hood energy. Me neither. I feel like they're gonna. Oh, I'm ghetto. I'm and I guess it's because of Florida. Like, I don't. Yeah, I don't like it. So do you I, remember, I mean, I got like, one now, and it's. It, I literally be like, bro, chill with your little attitude, bro. Like, yeah, I just don't. I don't like the chill, hood I nice fucked. Sir. I fucked you black dudes, attitude. but I've never fucked like hood dudes. I don't know what it it's, is it's about hood shit, but I could only equate it to like club experiences, right? Like when I was growing up, like my first clubs, I'd get into. Like you're gonna get in the hood spot because the ID shit, right? I think I probably. It's almost like you go for what you know. Like, I don't know. And every time I break up with a nigga, for example, my ex, the one who was bald, who I can't even like look at anymore, right? <laughs> um, He was super tidy, tech, finance type of guy, right? So he wasn't black, a hood. He was black dude, but he wasn't a hood nigga. He yeah. was from Brooklyn, but he wasn't a hood nigga. What'd I go for? Dreads, gold teeth, hood ass nigga. Nigga who told me he made music, but... See, I think so some true. hood niggas who I think are attractive, but I've never, I wouldn't, I've never been with one, nor do I want to. <sighs> They're just, it's something about them. It's just like they take funny. you into their arms and make you feel like, what them niggas do to you? I'd be like, maybe. <laughs> Every time I'm feeling insecure, I come Although I would fuck that, that, the nigga from P-Valley, Lil Murder. Murder? Oh, I gotta watch fine. it. He is so fine. He look good. He's fine. Have though. you ever dated a trans man? But like, has that ever come across your radar? No. Ha I mean, like, have they hit on you? I don't think so. Not to my knowledge. I don't. Here's the thing about trans men. So some trans men are who are like extremely hot. Yeah. And no, no shade to them. But I'm a big fan of dick. Yeah, and it's hard. To so my what about knowledge, a trans, trans and uh, in, in that same aspect, I'm not interested in titties. In the femininity. And titties. I'm not. So I'm. Interested, that makes sense. So I'm only interested in men. Like trans men, I think some are really hot, but I couldn't get past the fact that they don't have a dick. Yeah, to, I get to that. To my knowledge, I don't think they do. I Although honestly they have feel like that I, that I don't trans know about, men have it a lot harder in terms of sex because they, I think so too. It's so much easier to get bottom yeah. surgery. It is as a man, and it's just like I totally get that. So for me, I couldn't get past that. And then as far as like trans women, I've never been sexually attracted to women. So trans women have they have boobs and they have the the, the woman's figure, yeah, the which I think is beautiful. Yeah. But sexually, my my dick don't do anything. Yeah. Like if, if if both y'all got naked right now, my dick would be like, okay, cool. Oh, thanks. <laughs> like nothing would happen. <laughs> like nothing would happen. But not just y'all. Anybody? Beyonce walking here naked? I'm like, oh shit, it's Beyonce. We but appreciate you clarifying with Beyonce. <laughs> but I'm well, not isn't it crazy how naked. Beyonce is like our bar for anything? <laughs> like some people ask me, like, what's your dream guest for a podcast? I'd be like, I know we would all say Beyonce, but for me, it's Jesus. Like I'd be having to say that. Like, I know I'm not Beyonce, but she is really our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay. Is there a sexual fetish that turns you off? I, I don't like feet. Maybe. I don't care about feet. I don't like, I'm like, oh, feet, but I don't care. 
Yeah. I don't like this is I don't think this is a fetish, but I don't like being called daddy. That is a Yeah, I don't like that. Cause sometimes dudes will call me that because I have okay. like a beard and like whatever. It's a huge turn off. Like if a dude calls me daddy. Like Poppy, I don't mind because it's like I don't really mind Poppy that much because it's, I've it's said that. I don't Hispanic like, dude. But see, I don't deal with I deal with black men. Don't call me mommy. And I've said that on the podcast. Like, yeah, I, I don't like being called. I don't like being daddy. called mommy. Daddy is just I don't weird. mind mommy because it feels like New York shit to me. I told you that. Yeah. But I, I never really mommy. experienced a lot of mommy shit. Like, what's up, mommy? I've had a lot of dudes. Well, call I lived me in daddy. the Bronx. <laughs> and I had yeah. older dudes. Yeah, I fucked like older dudes before. Like, daddy, I'm like, motherfucker, you It's an ownership thing. I fuck girls that will call me daddy though. You fucked da- I fuck women that have called me daddy too. It's like a power dynamic. Gay I, it is a power dynamic, but I it, I just think it's weird. <laughs> so I've never been turned on by it. But uh, if it's someone's kink and they and it, they, it gets them off, I'm like it's fine. I'll let them, but it's never been anything for me. So I wanted to bring up bye guys, and I know we talked about it a little bit because I had this experience recently um, in Paris that I wanted to bring up with you on the show because I was like the factor in my head that made me not want to do it was the fact that I didn't think they were bi. So, went to the club, and it was a hood-ass bi. It was Wonderlust. The hood spots in, 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 in town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It was the 20th on Dory Small. It was, it was some hood shit. I liked it. Like, they had security and metal gates. I was like, ooh, barricades. I like it here. <laughs> That's also what's at a festival <laughs> with it, weights. No, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a festival, bro. It was a hood spot. Okay. If, a, if, it's a, if it's a club, it's a hood club, they be having metal shit, bro. Okay, so what happened with this bi dude? Right. So, I get cornered in the club by one guy that I know. Okay. Um, French dude, really fine ass nigga, dark skin, fucking ugh, tall. So, his boy, a lot of the people I realized in the club, if they were good English speakers, they were Haitian from Miami. Just visiting family in France. That makes sense. Right. So... He like starts dancing with me and pressing up on me. And then his friend comes over and said, who is this? And he's like, oh, this is my boy. Da, da, da. So we stopped dancing. So the dude gets on the wall and my boy was like, you should dance with him. And I was like, oh, you just pushing me off. He's like, no, I'm about to dance with you too. So I was like, huh? So you're dancing with both of them. Bitch, now we're in this sandwich. I feel both their dicks. And I was like, oh my God, mind you, my friends are grabbing drinks. I'm with Alex and Gabby. And I'm like, they're going to come back and they're going to find me and ruin my moment. And I was like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? The the niggas was hard as fuck. And then he says to me, now you have a French Nigerian. You got your Haitian, like what's your face? I don't know what he was saying. He was trying to be hot, but I don't know what the fuck was going on. And then I was like, do they do this all the time? To the point where they probably do. They probably one of them do. switched to get in front of me and then like started touching me and saying how good I looked. And the other nigga was kind of just standing there smoking. And I was like, yo, nobody was like, people weren't even looking. We were like on the side of the DJ booth. I was like, I'm not going to suck a dick. It was so fucking hot. But then one thing that happened is I said, okay. So you guys are telling me you want me to leave with you or something? Like, how long does this go on? And they start laughing. And uh, I think what kicked me out of it is like one had implied I would almost be like servicing them. And I was like, and what about you two? And they kind of looked at me like, bitch, we ain't fucking each other. And I was like, it turned me off. I really want to see two niggas do some shit. I want to see like sword.com. Play with it. Make it a nice thick uh, touch it. Don't like. You've never had that experience? No. There's a lot of bi dudes out there who I know. Of, I know a few. I know a few. None that I hear. I know. I know. I Every know, time I hang would... with my gay friends, I be like, please. I just want to. I just want to see. I want to watch. Like one is a you just gotta He's find so a, fine. You just gotta find a bi, bi dude, and you gotta find the bi dudes that also your type as yeah. a straight yes. girl too, so right? That's the other hard part. Those are, those are no, it's hard. Those it's are hard. threesome app. I they can't also think gotta be good yeah. looking. And then oh, threesome Like apps. I had the opportunity one time, and it got really close, but they were both tops, so it it really went nowhere. And I was like, well, this is not what, like. Why? You got two hoes? No, I wanted to see one of them bottom. I don't want to be with two men for both of them to be be pops. Oh, I don't need that. I just want to, like, suck a dick together. Oh. Oh. Just for fun. I would like to do that. Let's not make this. I would. No. No, I I, I, I would like to do that. For you guys. That would be fun. Like, I don't need the fucking. Oh, I want to watch it. I watch porn a lot. I want to see it in person. I think it's harder to find because there's not. Because bi guys are so, like, actual bi guys are rare, I think. I know. Because a lot of times... One's leaning the other way. The, yeah. They lean another way, or they say that they're bi just to make women feel more comfortable. Well, and that's and that was my thing, too. 
when the opportunity arose for the possibility of it to happen, the other man to me, even though even though they were both tops, one was f- like more feminine. I don't like feminine men at all. So I, if, if yeah. I'm going to be with even two bi men, I want them to be both very masculine. Yeah, she I wants to go to South Central. <laughs> yeah, it, she's like, I would like like the two niggas on P-Valley. Yeah. Like the one that got out of jail, R.I.P. Yes. And then Uncle Mart, like C. Murder, Uncle Murder, yeah. whatever you call it. Lil Murder and, Lil Murder, and, and T. Lil Murder, and T. yeah. Yeah. Those are the two like the, you know, I'm I like, ooh. You. Well, okay. I think the other issue that I feel like kind of happens with the bi shit is you're always terrified of like there's a sex in the city moment where Samantha fucks these two dudes or is about to and they change their mind and they're like mm, we don't really like you like I'm telling you right now if I get in a room with two bi niggas and they just want to suck each other's dick I'm gonna be like well what the hell does it smell like tilapia in here unlikely to happen because then they wouldn't have brought you in the room like if they didn't want to do shit with you they would have just ditched you and sucked the sucks dick and did their own dick shit without you well here's what my plan is so I follow both of them right So I'm thinking about figuring out which one would be more leaning, right? And even if they weren't sucking dick, and if they would get their dick sucked, you don't get you. Have you talked about this? Like I'm sure you you guys got big followings. You get some bi niggas in your DMs, and you do fuck fans. That's I just, just want a bi guy. A bi- <laughs> hey guys, so if you're watching this episode and you are interested oh in God, servicing stop. Weezy and my you are goodness. in an area, would you fly them out? No. No, wow. they have to fly themselves to you? I only do that for women. Sorry. Okay. Oh, okay. So you do have That's to fly fair, yourself yeah. out. Find a nigga Wait, out. <laughs> do you have a man that would suck their, like, do you have an, another buy man option? Okay. So the reason I said I feel like I could get it to pop with these two or one of them is because I'm probably going to go back to Paris for Fashion Week. And if I do, all the gay niggas are going to be there for one. Wait, when's Fashion Week? September. Oh, dang it. Them oh. niggas be fine. End of September, beginning of September. I can't remember. Uh, but you don't want a gay guy. You need another bi guy, not a gay. No, but I'm saying like a lot of Euro dudes are bi, but all the fashion niggas probably be bi and Ooh, open. Europeans listening is, you, yeah. No, Europe European has a way more just, open sexual culture. Oh, a thousand percent. Oh, so it, they're, they're more bi There's not as much shame in, in sexuality and, yeah. over there. So they most likely yeah. come out and say it. And, so I'm already going to be in Pali. Might as well oh. suck the dick with me. And don't worry, we ain't got to go back to the hood club. We'll meet you at Soho House or something. <laughs> that sounds fun. Soho no. House is a great threesome way Please to start. Please hop in the DMs. She is soliciting your mouth and... Pe- oh, is am I doing it illegally, Emily Heron? Bitch. Was that her last name? Yeah. That's what it said. I have a question, because I did a whole sketch about this. I'll send you guys the, the sketch later. Do... Do you guys get bad dick pics? Because, okay, yeah. so th- this is what happened. I was, I was over the pandemic. Like I'm, unsolicited? No, no, no. Just bad. Bad quality. Like I, Ash? Yeah. Because over the pandemic, I got, I made a, I made a, a video that went kind of viral. I had like 12,000 views or whatever. And, which is viral for me. Um, I'm glad you uh, and, said that. <laughs> Like you, <laughs> and <laughs> I'm not a big social media nigga. I'm trying to get better at it, but listen, guy, I'm on TV. I'm doing fine. Uh, it's it's. Boop. It, I know that's right. It was called it was called hitch dicks. So the whole <laughs> it's because I, I was teaching straight dudes how to take dick pics. Okay, because I posted on 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 that's Fa- fun. I posted on Facebook that I was getting a lot. I was talking about girl Desi, really really dope chick from Atlanta, and she was saying that she she was in a relationship with this guy, and she's like we can't meet up because of the pandemic and she's like I, keep, she's like, I hate it because men send terrible dick pics mm. and I'm like oh no bitch that's straight men because I've been getting dick pics oh, I'm gonna show you one right now forever and these motherfuckers are fire this dude's dick is huge okay and when I say it's huge sometimes it's too big to go inside of me fucking once in a blue very sporadically and I was in Atlanta He was in Atlanta at the same time. So he sends me a picture of his dick in his hotel room. And I just, now don't get me wrong. I wanted to go and get it. But I said to myself, why would I want this? That's a bad bit. Terrible. It's more leg than dick. Ashy. And it's a really big dick. The angle's bad. You see his terrible ass room. (laughs) I was like, I said, is this a court? Yo, what the fuck are you, nigga? I hate, I hate it. Bro. I started a whole thing. The hitch dick. I gave out my phone number. (laughs) And I got a lot of texts. 321-431-1426. That's my phone. Oh, oh. there it goes. Because <laughs> I'm all about people sending me dick pics and, fix, and fixing them. Like, I got texts from people who sent, who straight people were like, yo, I'm like, yo, this is terrible. And I gave them all the tips. Do you do you ask them, do you get paid for that? Because we have Miss Be Nasty on and she literally said That's that. That's rate my dick. 
But yeah, it's, but he's them, giving advice. I told them that I give him my Venmo. Dick I give him my Venmo after. If they want to tip me, they can. But if not, I don't care. But also, okay. I think be nasty doesn't care to see them. I think you want them. Yeah, you yeah. want to see dick send pics. these dicks. <laughs> and, uh, but, but I want to fix them too, because because then women get better. I want to help fix them, but that's true, bro. So I get over to his hotel room, right? And he was like asking me if I was gonna be able to take it. I was like, I could take the dick and the pic you sent me, and he didn't know what I was saying. And I didn't necessarily shame it too much because I still wanted it. But I was like, yo. Your dick is so big. Like, do girls get surprised when you like pull it out and you send them pics? And he was like, Oh, I was just sending that in the moment. Like, I was about to jerk off and like I put lotion on it. I was like, You didn't put enough. It was giving ass. Damn. It was so, you should have dick pics in stock. If you're no, no, no. send a new one. It is cool to send one like I think, one in I the moment. You, I think you should send one in the moment, but I think if it's not a good one, then you should send an old one that's a good one. Well, so I don't we, get we ended up fucking, right? A bad new one. Week later, he comes to me, and this is how I know another bitch said something. We FaceTime, and he's laughing. He's like, I can't believe you had the nerve to get in your Uber black, because that's what I requested. <laughs> he was like, come get my dick and tell me it ain't look big enough in a picture when you can't even take it. So we laugh about it, and I was like, I'm telling you, you couldn't take the dick. I can't, but <laughs> it's it? fun to try. What is it, like 10, 9? Uh, it's a little bigger than 10, but the issue is Jesus the girth. Thick. Yeah, yeah. So like when he gets super hard, even in the middle of being inside of me, I can't. Yeah. I don't, I, that's one. I've, I've like, it's giving I've gotten up pictures like that. I, I would pull one out, but it's my phone's over there, but I've gotten, no, I'll get it. <laughs> it's right. It's right there. Okay. Let me do it. Let me help. <laughs> is this an Android? Let me live my, my life. You can, well, they, they <laughs> say the you picture quality is good. The green? <laughs> What y'all don't like Androids? He's it's, it's I'll take what I can get for a dick pic. And he okay. sent it via WhatsApp. What? <laughs> okay, y'all. Y'all ain't fixing the shame my damn phone. So this dude, this dude sent me a dick pic and I have it saved. And it was too it was so big, I was like, oh. Oh no, you're not fucking me. Like I don't know if you thought that oh, I Oh yeah, let me I, see I, that I, one. I'm trying to let me see if I can find it. I love abnormally big dicks. I just think I like the idea of them, but I've, when it's I, it's fun to look at. Yeah, but when I've seen, whoa, wow, yeah, look, he was hot. Man. I sucked his dick. I mean, this is why I used to like him. this. Is why I used to like skinny niggas anyway. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, okay. you gotta blur that. <laughs> you gotta blur that out. Yeah, blur that. It was, it was like, he, I'm like that's a good dick pic. That's a really good dick pic. But I think it's, I like the abs. If he fucked you, you would have literally had a colonoscopy. That's a that to clean you out. Yeah. Exactly. That's a big old dick. And you it know was. what? Someone I know had a tilted um, uterus. Have I ever told that story on Horrible? When the dude know. fucked her, he tilted her uterus. Uh -huh. So like, see, hell see, big no. dicks like that. I feel kind of sorry for people. Who, I have, I feel sorry for people who have micro dicks, but I also feel a little bit sorry for people who are like that. Because I'm like, who's taking the dude? That? That, oh yeah, nah. the last big big dick I was fucking. I think it was hospital dick. Oh yeah. Well, it wasn't her uterus, but he had never had anal sex. He's I like, y'all would love why. to, but I ain't taking Yeah, no. I mean, I've shared a story about like one athlete who was current, he was injured at the time. So I would have had to ride his dick and it was so big. We got away with just uh like I just sucked it and he came from the head. But I don't even know how he came because I could only put the tip in my mouth. I felt so insufficient. Can you tell us who it was? Let's hurry and wrap this up. I don't oh, remember. No, I'm this. not gonna tell who it is. Absolutely. I don't know anything about sports, We wanna so I, I wanna care. know if we can tell test BDE. Why are you talking about the other one? I wanna hang I wanna know who it is. Wait, y'all get a lot of celebrity DMs, don't you? Usually? Or not? I mean, I've been fucking slept since I was in high school, so Ooh. that doesn't mean anything. Not fucking the Brett Fires line. I've what? never I've never I've been that's fucking that's... superstars since I was nineteen. That's oh. the shit. Well that was I was eight. You gotta live your truth. I was. Yeah, I was. I was getting. I'm not even gonna say live your dream. I was. I was getting flued out in in my Ooh. senior year of high school. So. Uh, I wish they were flying gay niggas out. <laughs> well, <laughs> they are not. Maybe I'll we'll find one. If I feel like only DL niggas. Dog. Probably. Every time I just clicked on my phone to read the whole mail. Every time Netflix wants to tell me something, I just killed my dad. Is up the girlfriend who didn't exist? Like, why is it always some? I love the doc. I don't. Just stop. Anyway, um, I'm not going to read the lengthy one, but just a hotel before we get out of here. The hotel is my husband wanted to try an MMF threesome since we've only been with women before. And I was down and we decided upon his friend who's not bad looking and a millionaire. Well, bitch, oh, why well, the millionaire if you already got the 
I would, see, that would fuck me up. If my husband wasn't the millionaire. It's actually given you chose the wrong friend. Right. The sex was good with only a few awkward moments. It was super late and I was ready for bed. The friend started drinking and things went downhill from there. The man came upstairs to my bedroom all night and in the morning trying to fuck me without my husband who was asleep on the couch. He kept me up all night. Oh, not you running around the bed. I hate that game. I should have kicked him out, but I didn't want him driving drunk. And I knew getting an Uber would turn into a nightmare. So at some point he went downstairs, threw up on my floor in three different rooms. <laughs> Jesus. Somehow got wax from my wax warmer all over the kitchen and then passed out on the couch while my husband and I cleaned up everything. He woke up at noon and tried to blame me for the mess when I confronted him. And now I'm going back to women from your 29th white fan from Detroit. Oh, damn. You've been picking all the white people. Oh, don't do that. I'm just saying. Emily, are you listening? Nah, she tweeted us. But Wait, so what, what did are we supposed to give her advice? No, no, it was just a hotel. It was just a tail. <laughs> we're just supposed to laugh at her. I was say, leave, bitch. That was my advice. I don't know yeah. if you were giving advice on Bro, that. Bro, can you imagine you think you about to get it in and it's like... But she said the threesome was good, though, besides like the awkward parts. No, they never got to it. He got too fucked up. Everybody passed out. Oh, no. See, and also, that is one thing that where you could actually give some advice from. Sometimes y'all get so nervous to do shit that, that you, you want to do that you get, get so, so wasted. Intoxicated. Yep. And I know that's a lot of like sex club... Um, I've never drank in my life. Like, wait, wait. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I've been sober my whole life. Son. Oh, wow. Congrats. This is hey. so crazy. I was just having a conversation with how much energy non-drinkers be having. Like, I don't fucking get it. I, it's a few. It's me. Uh, you know, Eagle Wit. He's a comedian. Eagle Wit. No, I know a lot of comedians. Great that comic. Drink. Same. Me and him. He's never drank either. Shit. Uh, I know. Akash doesn't drink. Who's the other no person I know that doesn't drink? Mouse Jones Josh don't drink Johnson, that nigga loud. You know, Josh it's Johnson a, from The Daily Show. He's never drank either. Bro. Yeah. Where, maybe it comes from not being held down. Like, I just never. I'm very much. Stu not, I wouldn't say stubborn, but I know what I like and what I don't like. Like, I've never been with a woman, never been attracted to them. I never, I saw how negatively drinking affected my childhood. Like, my biological parents were wild. Mm. So I'm like, I'm never going to do they it. They say that's why Donald Trump didn't guess, drink. I guess yeah. I have that experience with cigarettes. Like, I've never smoked a cigarette a day in my life. Yeah. Wow. And I think that maybe they did a really good job with, like, the... The dare they program? They notice, well, yeah. Well, no, because I've done drugs and I love alcohol, but I've never smoked a cigarette a day in my life. Have you but done I drugs? I think it's because like both my parents smoked a pack a day. Yeah. And I used to hate like the smell. I used to make yeah. me cough. I hated cigarettes. I don't even mind. Whenever I tell people I've never drank or smoked, they're like, oh, how do you have fun? I'm like, you can have, I just have fun. But also I'm around it all the time and I have nothing against it. I've been to parties where people are doing cocaine and doing all this stuff. I'm like, hey. Good does it does it hinder dating life sometimes when you can't have a cocktail with somebody? Uh, for some people, it, it hinders it on their end. For me, I don't care. Oh yeah, for, but for then sure. they feel bad. They're like, "Why well, don't I, if you're not gonna drink, I'm not gonna drink." I'm like, "Well, that's uh, I guess you're not." Gonna I drink. actually snapped out of doing that because I realized how annoying it was. Shout out to my homegirl, actually not that Emily, but one of my good friends in LA that I always go out with doesn't drink, and people will always like ask me like oh because we'd be going to tables popping like bottles yeah. of niggas and i'll get a table for us sometimes and she won't drink i'll be like oh do you want pellegrino and people will like think she's like trying to be stuck up or some shit and i'm like well, yeah i never I actually kind of feel bad for her sometimes yeah. when i never peer pressure but I, I to be honest to make her feel comfortable i get as most like lit as lit as i can you should because I'm. I don't want to hinder your fun because i'm gonna have fun regardless but i, I can tell it bothers her when i'm like when drugs it. to have fun i'm gonna have fun but also, like, there's, like, 0% alcohol beer now. Like, they have a Heineken Zero. But then, so, like, also, that's like for ways, people that feel there's uncomfortable. There's mocktails. But there's people, like, I know a lot of drinkers that when they go out just to feel like, you know, to not feel out of place, right. they'll just do a mocktail or a zero. Like, yeah, I'll there's get, so I'll many get, alternatives. I'll get, I'll get, a, I'll get a, um, a Shirley Temple or some Sprite or something like that. Yeah. If I'm, if I'm. Colorizing. Yeah. <laughs> but I also don't care. If everyone else yeah. is drinking, they see that I'm not drinking. If that bugs them, that's a you problem. Yeah. Because I'm fine. I chose to be at this bar or wherever the fuck And I'm still at. lit and not boring. Yeah. I will say, though, tell me if y'all do this. Even you as non, a non-drinker. Sometimes when I meet people, people that don't drink, I'd be like, wow, how long were they fucked up before? <laughs> I'd be thinking that all the time. Do you? What do you mean? No. When someone tells me they don't drink, I'm like, like, like that is the AA why. thing. No, yeah. I like, don't think that because I know what you why I don't drink. So I always assume that those people who have similar reasons. Mm -hmm. I, a lot of times when I tell people I don't drink, they they, they do go there like, oh, you were alcoholic and you crashed a car and killed seven people. I'm like, oh, <laughs> baby, no, no, I've just never done it. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, this, and it usually, like, sometimes it blows their mind, but other people are like, oh, okay, cool. Well, I'll tell you what, to be able to have gotten in that U-Haul sober. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, nuts. so I'm here sober being a hoe. I'm just a hoe. It's in a the sober Now that's a goddamn shame. <laughs> a I commit to it, y'all. I'm, like, I'm here for the game. That Back actually, wow. that's, that's nuts. Had that really does amp up the story a little <laughs> bit. Had sex at a state Now board. that makes the, the story even more wild. <laughs> okay. 
Well, we running out of time. We passed it. And we want to say, Akeem, you were fucking lit. I'm Thank really you. glad yeah, we had you. It was really fun. It was super fun being here. I'm glad enough to finally be on. You guys are I know. Great. Tell people where to find you. Uh, you can find me at Akeem Woods on Instagram, A-K-E-E-M Woods, trying to get 10,000 followers. Only have 7,000, fingers crossed. Um, you can go to my website, AkeemWoods.com, A-K-E-E-M Woods.com for tour dates. Uh, if you're a dude and you need help with your dick pics, you can text me, 321-431-1426. You don't have to add that out. I don't care. Come on, 321. <laughs> I'm for We'll keep it in there. Keep you changed her. I'm for us. Oh, yeah. I've been a new member um, for some years now. That's that's it. Facebook, too, I guess, if you're 100. If you're 100, is that what you said? Yeah, yeah. old people on Facebook. Oh, my mom loves Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> uh, and for us, check us out on patreon.com backslash horrible decisions. Um, if you need to search it, type it in, and you can get all the bonus content, including the London homeless guy I almost fucked. And <laughs> we <yeah>. did it. <laughs> He just, it's on Patreon. Oh, it was yeah, giving you a little ish. It's on Patreon. You should have done it. All right, so check that out. And this has been yet another episode of Horrible Decisions. Bye. Bye. It's Bonies Beach. Welcome back, hoes. I'm trying to get my shit together. Yes, welcome, welcome back. It's so crazy because we recorded... Pretty much the next month of horrible decisions last week. And it was giving, I haven't had sex. It was giving, I haven't gone on a date. It was giving, I don't even know what I'm going to talk about. And I ended up going out this weekend. And literally in the last few days, I have met two guys that I'm talking to. One is local. One doesn't live here. But the one that lives here already has a nickname. Uh, his nickname is Black Jesus. I already told him not to listen to the podcast, but he knows his name is Black Jesus. Why? And because he's he's giving Black Jesus. He looks like Black Jesus. And what's crazy oh, is God, how dreams. I met him. So <laughs> we gonna talk about how I met him because I was like not even looking to date. I went to this party uh, yeah. over the weekend. It's giving everyday and- people. <laughs> no, I, we actually went to everyday people together. We spent the whole weekend oh, together sure. after meeting each other. Oh, wow. So, and then we also had a date last night. So I have now spent three of the last four days with him. Wow. Um, Did you fuck him yet? Yeah. Was it good? And I'm really, I mean, he's great. So let me tell y'all the tea about how the fuck I even met him. So I'm at this party on Saturday and I lose my homegirl. Not that I lost her. She went to the bathroom. And so I left the table to go look for her. Is he a Brooklyn nigga? Re- rewind. He lives in Brooklyn, but he's not a Brooklyn nigga. No. Mm, he's not even from It's giving. Me. He's an expat. He's, he's an expat? Like, like, international? Yeah, like, he's he's been in New York less time than I have. Like No, wait. Expat, so, like, the States? He's, he's not American? Yeah, like, expat, like, he's not from New York. Like, he's... Oh, okay. From somewhere else and lives here now. Um, so anyways, I'm looking for my homegirls. Let me let y'all know I am drunk as fuck and on shrooms at the same time. So I had just took like this little square of the chocolate shrooms. And I was like, okay, it's a vibe. Okay. Mind you, it took me so long to even take the square because so many of our fans were there. It was like overwhelming for me. Like I was on FaceTime. Like every man that approached me called their girlfriend or wife and had me on FaceTime with their girlfriend or wife. And then all the girls that were there were just like buying, like offering me drinks. And I'm like, y'all, I'm already drunk. So anyways, I go to find my homegirls after I'm feeling a little buzz on the shrooms and I pass him. And I didn't know what to do because I'm on shrooms and I don't know what the, like what's going on. So I just start me mugging his ass and I'm like, and I'm just me mugging him. I don't even, no words even come out. And he was like, what's up? Uh-huh. And I was like, nigga, you fine as shit. That's literally the only thing that came out of my mouth. I'm like, you actually too fine to be here. What the fuck you doing here? What, like, you what, what kind of party that's was That's all I knew what to even say to him. Swear to God, that's all, I, uh, PBO. So it was like a party, like with tons of like all the Africans and Nigerians. And like a lot yeah, of people yeah. had like their African garbs on. Women was fine up in there. So anyways, 
I approach him and I'm like, you, you find a shit. That's right. all I know how to say. And then I'm like, you know what? I have my whole foot in my mouth. Sorry, I'm on shrooms. Would you like some? All I knew to do was to offer him drugs. So mind you, he, his response is, I'm actually shrooming right now. Yeah, sure. I'll take some. So he takes some and I'm like, well, I'm still looking my, for my friends, but I would really like to exchange like information. Can I get your Instagram or your phone number? At this point, foot in my mouth again. He's like, yeah, let's exchange Instagrams. So I immediately feel curved. I immediately feel like nigga ain't fucking with me because anytime I really don't want to give someone my number, I give them my Instagram. Okay. Even though I asked for the Instagram. And I think I only felt curved too because the nigga's Instagram was private. So I'm like, nigga, this does me no good. I'm not going to remember your page. Now I have to follow you. Like, I'm not even going to remember what your name is to find you through who I follow. Right. So I was just like, okay, well, this was pointless. So anyways, I find my, I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to go find my friend. I find my friends, we go back to the table and we're, we're vibing now. Like I'm with my friends. He passes the table and goes to like touch my shoulder to chat. I say, Hey, so I'm with my friends now. There's a lot of really good looking women in here. You should like do a walkthrough, go get some numbers. Like that's what you're here for. Right. And like completely dismissed him, completely dismissed that nigga. So 